As you likely know, Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott have just welcomed their latest bundle of joy into the world. Their son Wolf was introduced on February 6th, 2022 on Kylie's Instagram. Prior to his arrival, Kylie had shown pics of the nursery that was in the works for their son, likely located at her stunning Holmby Hills mansion. When they aren't living in Kylie's main residence, Travis owns his own properties in Brentwood while they co-own a $13.5 million Beverly Hills house together too. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kylie Jenner is a media personality, model, businesswoman and more who rose to fame on the reality series Keeping Up With The Kardashians alongside her family. Not to mention that she's the founder of cosmetic company Kylie Cosmetics and has expanded her brand since. Despite selling the majority of Kylie Cosmetics, she's still behind product development and marketing and her net worth is now estimated around $700 million. Her partner, Travis Scott, is a rapper and he's amassed an estimated $50 million himself. The couple owns a stunning property portfolio with plenty of home options to raise their newborn son, Wolfen, alongside their daughter, Stormy. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one looking at where Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott call home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Of course, Kylie spends most of her time at her $36.5 million compound in Holmby Hills, which is likely where Stormy and Baby Wolf now pass most of their days too. We know the girl loves her real estate, but this resort style spot is the largest property in Kylie's portfolio thus far, spanning over 15,300 square feet of space along with four separate guest houses and a 24-hour guard house with full bath and full kitchen. The mansion is located in the exclusive neighborhood of Holmby Hills, Los Angeles, which is in the western area of LA. It's bordered by Beverly Hills on the east and Bel Air to the north, with Sunset Boulevard being the main strip nearby. In fact, Holmby Hills is home to the iconic Playboy Mansion and is of course home to many other celebrities too. The main mansion boasts 7 beds and 14 baths over a single level, with an open plan layout, soaring ceilings, and massive walls of attractable glass to connect the indoors and outdoors. The amenities at Kylie's Pad are endless, with multiple bars and games rooms, as well as a massive indoor home theater and an outdoor projection screen. The main courtyard and infinity pool are located at the center of the property, and most of the common rooms open right up to the space as well. Elsewhere, there's a gym, a spa, modern fire pit, basketball court, and multiple terraces. Kylie gave fans a behind the scenes look at the nursery she had in the works for her son Wolf at the end of 2021. She teased what the new playroom would look like over on her Instagram stories, which is most likely located in her main Homeby Hills abode. The nursery was unfinished at the time, but Kylie was proud to show off the work in progress, which displayed a beige colored room that was still bare and being constructed. The star looked around the room and showed carved out shapes in the walls, seeing the supplies and workbench in the background. There were also shelves being built, most likely to display toys or other things for Wolf, while on the left side of the room there was a cutout on a raised platform, perhaps for the crib or bed. Either way, the room was large and will give Kylie and Travis's son plenty of space. Over in the Brentwood neighborhood of LA, Travis has his own oasis, yet another option for the young family to spend their days at. Just last year, the rapper dropped over $23 million in this unique home that looks like a yacht and is wrapped in smooth sheet metal. The mansion is huge, clocking in at 16,700 square feet of ultra modern house with 7 beds and 11 baths and a generous outdoor area spanning an acre of land. Some of the many features at Travis's home include a lounge deck, a 75 foot long glass tiled infinity pool, a Japanese zen garden and 300 tree fruit orchard. Inside the home is full of open spaces with high ceilings and luxury add-ons like a live green wall that acts as a natural air purifier and a single great room with full bar, fireplace and multiple seating and dining areas. The mega estate is at the end of a remote street below street level and the driveway actually slopes down the mansion's roof, while the roof has parking spaces for 15 cars on its own. Definitely a one-of-a-kind type of design. Other amenities at Travis's home include a home 
theater, three custom design bars, a glass elevator, and an impressive master retreat with dedicated lounge areas. Back in 2018, Kylie and Travis also split the bill for a property in Beverly Hills, which they continued to co own together. This modern abode cost the couple $13.5 million, and it's located within the Beverly Hills Post Office neighborhood of LA, an area that values seclusion and upscale living. Listing materials claim this 1.1 acre property is one of the most private compounds you could find and only minutes from the prestigious Beverly Hills Hotel. The gated residence is contemporary yet warm and offers a separate guest house on their grounds with its own kitchen, living room, bedroom and bath. Inside the main mansion, the home spans over 9,600 square feet of space with 7 bedrooms, 10 baths and a handful of perfectly decorated living spaces. Built back in the 1970s, the property was once a on a time owned by actress Louise Curry, but received a huge renovation quite recently, making the house fit for modern time. It also gave the Beverly Hills spread more of a contemporary aesthetic. The boxy exterior opens into a double height foyer, which leads into the open plan living spaces. The living room, dining room, family room, and kitchen all open via glass walls to outdoor spaces for the ideal indoor outdoor flow. The living room is cozy and chic with European oak floors and a fireplace, while the chef's kitchen offers top of the line appliances, oversized center island, and attached breakfast room with lounge seating area. Not to mention, there's a bonus outdoor breakfast area. The luxurious master suite is definitely a selling point, spanning about 2,300 square feet alone with both city and ocean views. There are his and hers baths for Travis and Kylie, as well as oversized dressing rooms for each. Other features on this level of the mansion include a separate gym and massage room, sitting room and a private office. Elsewhere, there's a movie theater, wine room, library, and an extra den. And out back, there are even more amenities. The large sleek pool and spa seems to cover most of the yard space, while the surrounding patio makes for a great area to lounge or entertain. The landscaping is also second to none at this crib, not only offering beautiful gardens, but thick walls of trees and greenery that make for a ton of extra privacy. So now we've looked at the homes of Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott as well as the nursery that Kylie had in the works for their newborn son, Wolf. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before we see more of the newly designed space. After checking out a few of the young couple's homes, which was your favorite? Be sure to let me know your pick down in the comments, as well as what you liked or didn't like about their properties. Thanks for tuning in. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!